Ranger Brown was sent out in 1692 to survey the area and to keep an eye on the Susquehanna Indians. Now he was granted a large parcel of land. Rancher's Ridge was the original name of the property. Ranger Brown built the first log cabin in the area. The land was divided up between sons, but someone named Brown lived here for 300 years until the last descendant, Francis Brown, died in 1992. I first knew of Ruth and Francis in 1953 when I transferred from a parochial school in Clarksville to a public school, namely the Ellicott City Junior High School, it was called then. They both taught a total of 97 years between the two of them. That would be 48 and 49 years. <laughs> Uh, they were very conservative and I would say kind of sophisticated and uh, they were, they were, both of them were like people you would expect to see perhaps at a tea, an afternoon tea. They, they were very nice people. They loved this land and they felt it was their obligation to the family to keep it intact and undeveloped. It was a complete accident. How I found the Conservancy was a complete accident. I live, for 15 years now, I've lived a mile and a half that way. I didn't even know there was a building here. Um, I just I had seen the sign out by the side of the road and um, decided to drive in one day. I volunteered to uh, uh, take a garden plot here and uh, started uh, organic gardening. The first year the camp opened, I went to the camp and my mom signed me up and I was really excited and I remember Tabby was here and it was a really small group of kids because it wasn't really that known. And I was going past the entrance one day, saw the Conservancy, thought, what is it? And from the, the road you can never see, I mean you've got that little hill at the start there and it's a complete mystery. So it was a brand new experience for me and um, I'm still learning. Um, my biggest um, uh, crops have been the insects. <laughs> In today's society, there are so many expectations on, placed on children, uh, whether it's involvement in sports or after-school activities or uh, clubs, that it's really great to have a place like the Howard County Conservancy where children, students can go with their families and just be and just enjoy the outdoors and just taste and, and smell and breathe just some fresh air and get outside. You can teach things in the classroom, but what's the best way to learn? Come out here and do it. If you touch some of those kids and they really get a flavor for this, you can't get that in the classroom. You've got to get out there. I think it's important so that kids can have an experience and learn about nature so that when they get older, they can help protect their environment. Maybe just to teach them about how our environment's an important role in our lives. Kids love it. They, there's just always something for them to see or do here. Um, they love visiting with the animals, the goats, the owl, the turtles, the snakes, uh, the frogs. It's, there's just something for, it, always exciting for them to see here. So that's been a whole lot of fun. Other camps, they just kind of sat you in a classroom and may have brought things in, but this camp actually let you go out and experience it more. I really enjoyed it and I plan to volunteer here for many years to come. Preserving the Conservancy is of utmost importance because there is something here for everyone in Howard County. Whether your interest is in the environment, uh, the natural world, gardening, volunteering, office work, historic preservation, land protection, habitat restoration, you name it, it's all here. I love uh, wildlife. There's wildlife all over the place out here. The people who care about nature 
they really care about nature, but in a reasonable and responsible way. So the last year I attended camp as a camper, I made two friends and they were sisters, and now every year we choose the same week so that we can volunteer here together. It's a beautiful spot uh, within the county. It's a jewel. The rolling hills just lend themselves to that wonderful variety of activity that goes on here. There's, there's got to be somewhere where you can go to see life as perhaps it was. Uh, it just doesn't exist anymore, uh, except for places like this. This is just such a little oasis. I keep thinking of that word. I know oasis is you know, in the middle of a desert, but it's an oasis in the middle of what well, is a beautiful county nonetheless, but this is a true oasis. It's quiet, it's relaxing, it's calming. So regardless of what I come for, whether I come to feed the animals, just come by to say hi to the staff, whatever it might be, walk the dogs, it's relaxing for me. And I don't want to leave. I truly don't want to leave. So it's just a great place to be.